know, I've always believed that I would be a really good, like, rap video director. Exactly what I think every day. <laughs> no, like, I actually believe this. Like, I, like, I could do all of Drake's videos, like Post Malone's. <laughs> Bad Bunny, I can do all their videos, like all day, like dope videos. I got the sounds. Trip me taking pictures to the leader with your niggas start to act, so keep me in attack. Shit still pop pills, piling up the beacon, throw the beacon out the bag, I don't even got a rack. Based event. Three years ago, we put an event together called Style Guru Society. The goal of, of Style Guru Society is to create a platform where we celebrate the, the success of the influencer. For us, it's a way to establish a more personal relationship with the influencer. I've attended events like this before, and it's just so much about the brand itself and about the products themselves that it becomes like overly pushy. We try not to do that. We try to make it really more about the event itself as opposed to our products or like our services. Uh, wifey's calling after 12 hour flight. Hi babe. I am in an Uber driving uh, and Kenny is filming us talking so. By the way, why I don't do Airbnb? So we're waiting for our Airbnb. We just met with the team here. Everybody say hello. Hello. That's it, buddy. I just got nothing else. This is really hot coffee. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. My name's Anna of Kozigan. I'm the owner of Waddle Cafe. Aside from the pastries, we make literally everything there. The jams, okay. the pestos, the waffles from scratch. Oh, okay. So we're all about um, healthy, so there's no sugar in the cafe. We don't have waffles in Australia, so people go, why are you an Australian doing waffles? <laughs> this beautiful yellow tree is called the acacia, or wattle tree. It is native to the harsh, hot environments of Australia. The seeds of the wattle can be ground into flour and baked into a cake or... What made you move to New York? Well, I was actually, I'm a reformed banker. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. 20 years in banking and oh, this wow. is where I ended up. Okay. But this is my passion. I think people here are starting to realize that food actually should be nurturing, not harming. In Australia, it's often, you, you often go out to a cafe rather than a restaurant because it's not quite a diner, it's not quite a restaurant, it's just but it's a lovelier experience than a diner. Yeah. And that's what we're about, is an experience. It's about food to be an experience, sure. to be shared. Very cool. It was a nice meeting you. Likewise, yeah. Anna. Omar. Omar. Nice Pleasure. And good yeah. luck with your event tonight. Thank you. On Thursday. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. The tree in Australia. Wattle tree. How's the coffee? It's good. Now we gotta feel like, uh, we gotta walk down the street with these suitcases like tourists. This is mine. This is Megan. Oh. Who's that one? And then this is Washington. And that's oh, that's products. We like to we love too. traveling light. Products. I travel light always. Uh, I hope this is not a far walk because I'm not walking. Definitely not walking. We're walking with the team to have uh, lunch with the Owl and Sundry team. We just put our luggage down. Yeah, I thought you said you were never walking anywhere. Yeah, but you know, I, I can't leave, leave my children alone. Start spreading the news. I'm how long have we been walking? Seven minutes. Feels a lot longer than that. To be a part of it, New York, New York, these vagabond shoes. 
Megan, how long has it been? Four more minutes. Four more minutes. Right through the very heart of it. Megan, how many more minutes? No, that was that was ten minutes ago. This right here is why we should have Ubered. The city that doesn't sleep. And find I'm king of the hill. Top of the heap. We're gonna It's up to you. It was definitely more than 15 minutes. I want to be clear about this. It was definitely more than 15 minutes. So we're, what is the name of this place? Smith. Okay, so we're um, at the Smith's uh, restaurant in New York for our meeting. One of the things that I just talked to my team about is this idea of never eating lunch alone or never having a meal alone. So the idea behind it is that you ought to be constantly networking, meeting with people, um, expanding your horizon, expanding your um, like knowledge. And so every single meal that you have, it should be with somebody. If it's not with like a loved one, it should be with a colleague, it should be with somebody that you do business with, it should be somebody that you want to do business with. A multitude of businesses that have been born out of like people just going to like normal lunches and um, you know like billion dollar businesses that have been built because of that. So um, take that rule to heart, never eat alone. That's it. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Here's um, another tip for making your work easy while you're traveling. Like I don't necessarily have the space or the room to pull out a laptop or even a MacBook so I can work off of my phone. If I'm gonna go work at this office now for three, four hours and I can be on my laptop but whatever work I've done is going to be synced up to all my other devices. If you're on the go, syncing up your devices is really, really important. Okay, uh, we're at the Grand Central Station looking for some Apple uh, earpods. It's very important. You know, when you get stuff misplaced, you gotta replace it right away. Life is all about these little things that make your life easier.
answered uh, 228 emails in, what would you say, 3.5 hours. And in that like four hours that we've been working, I think almost everyone's gone. There's only one other person in this entire space and I'm pretty sure he's having a personal call because he's laying on the couch and either FaceTiming with his girlfriend or doing something because he's laughing a lot. So aside from like technologically being synced up, I think one of the things that I find productive is coming up with a to-do of the things that like have to get done that day and so whenever I find time I look at the list and I prioritize based on how much time I have to get the stuff done and I think that really really helps me to tackle tasks that need to get done that day. The other thing I'd like to also do is sort of cognitively make decisions about what I can work on offline versus what requires access to um, the internet in terms of like platform. So for instance, if it's just an email, then I'll just save that email or rather not even open the email until like I'm in a cab and I can just answer it on a, on a, on a phone um, versus let's say I'm reading a legal document or I'm reading uh, an email that requires uh, a little bit more critical thinking uh, but doesn't need an answer right away, then I'll wait till I'm on a plane um, to, to do that. One of the other things that I do is I keep a bag ready with all of my uh, peripherals always packed so I don't have to think about like cables or chargers or anything. Before your trip, you're not just like running around looking for whatever cable for, for your camera or for your phone. Or, so it always has everything packed and ready to go whenever I'm traveling. That actually is a really good travel tip. So we're listening to this like tinny sounding treble high music and I'm like who's bumping their stock system? It's uh it's this FedEx truck behind us. <laughs> Curry on my hip. I bet you anything if he's bumping his own SoundCloud station right now. <laughs> Gotta respect the hustle man. Gotta respect the hustle. He's just waiting for the moment somebody like pulls up next to him and goes like, oh man. Who are you bumping and where can I sign this man? If he gets picked up, you know, here's a legal question for anybody who's a, who's a lawyer. If this guy who is bumping his music on a FedEx truck gets signed, does part of the contract belong to FedEx because he used FedEx equipment? You know what, let's call, let's call my attorney. Let's ask him this. So we're calling my attorney right now to ask him this very important legal question. Because he's playing it on the FedEx equipment, does FedEx get a cut of his? <laughs> uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, probably not. So how how does I how how would IBM get the rights to your intellectual property for sending an email using their equipment? Or could you not argue the same thing? You're using a FedEx truck to blast your music. Omar, I think this has to go all the way. Yeah. I, I think I think I think this is a Supreme Court thing. <laughs> all right, buddy. That's all I wanted. Thanks, buddy. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, bye. This is the kind of stuff that like preoccupies my mind constantly. You know that I do these shots with my back turned towards the camera. This is gonna be one of those shots. So can we do this right here? The Empire or uh, is that the Chrysler? Okay, the Empire to the Chrysler. Can we do this? Can you get this? It doesn't look like I'm hugging this city because I certainly don't ever want to hug this city. So can we do this? Let me see if I can try.
uh, ran into David Thunder. David Thunder at David Thunder. We'll pull it here somewhere. Yeah. Is one of our um, Style Guru Society um, influencers. Who's actually one of our first people. Thank you. He's actually one of the first people to do action fashion shots. Tomorrow we're gonna hang out with him more and we'll follow so that excited. with another blog. Post. So excited, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> we've had a super long day. Um, we're done. If you found the tips from today useful. Comment below or let me know what you do when you travel um, so that we can share them. Now we gotta go home because it is one o'clock in the morning and we gotta get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow's a big day. Yeah. That's it. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I mean, imagine talking to a camera and you have no idea who's on the other end of it. That's someone's face right there. Yeah, I know. Let me look at myself. I wonder if it's easier if I look at myself. No, because then you'll be looking at yourself. That's gonna be like, those tips, um, <laughs> yeah. tips yeah. on uh, something. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, um,